Okay, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a polarizing lens filter. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the one that comes with the 4K. Um, this is what they call ultraviolet. It blocks ultraviolet light. Um, I find no use for that personally. So I'm going to take this off. Go through how you take it off. You just twist and remove. It has the two little tabs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is remove this glass lens out of it. Okay, so you just want to be easy with it. Okay, so now I have removed that. Okay, uh, now what we're going to do is we actually have polarizing film. Okay, and what this will do when you put it together with another one it's the easiest way to demo it that way when they overlap each other that's how you can tell what they are there if you put them side by side they you can't even tell but it turns dark black like that that's how you know it's polarized um, if you have polarized uh, sunglasses if you took this film, put it in front of your glasses, and actually turn it, you would get that same effect. Um, just in case you can't see that, I am going to use my old-fashioned light here. I'm just going to put it on the light, and then show it to you like this. Okay, you can see the differences there. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're going to cut it out of this film. This is uh, self-adhesive film. Um, as you can see, I've made a couple of them before. So it's pretty easy to cut. It's very thin. It's like paper. There is a sticky side to this and a non-sticky side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out which one's sticky. So what, we, what we're going to need is we're going to need a razor blade that's sharp. If you, you know, whatever one you want to use, um, you can use the, the little project utility knives. And I peel one side off. I'm going to use the glass. I'm going to get stuck on there. And that's the non-sticky side. <laughs> so now I'm going to flip it over. I, I could have mocked this earlier to just to make it easier, but... And now we have the side that sticks. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to just hold it there, peel this off, making sure I'm clean here. Just gonna wipe it off a little bit. You want to make sure the lens is clean of any type of f f dust, because if it has dust on it, well. If you've ever put a the protective film on a cell phone, uh, it's the same, or your remote even, the ST10 remote, you can put it on there. Um, recommend getting the matty, <laughs> that's, what I, <clears throat> that's what I call it, the matte film. It cuts down on the, ref, on the reflection. That's why that screen's terrible, is even with the, the sun blocker that comes with it, it's still still reflects too much. All right, so I'm going to grab onto a corner of it and I'm going to apply it on there. Okay, and try to smoothly put it on, you know, to get it, all the air bubbles out, pushing it towards the edges. Now I'm going to leave the protective film on here, you know, that other side. <coughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to use this brand new I can't stress that enough, razor blade, we're going to actually just trim off the plastic. Now I have it at an angle so that I'm cutting along the edge of the glass. If it was a plastic lens we'd have an issue because this would obviously cut into the plastic lens. Okay, so again, we're going downwards. I'm pulling it back and cutting down. Pulling it back, cutting down. Because you don't want to pull it upwards like I just did because it actually will peel you know 
take it off the glass. And then you end up with plastic pieces getting stuck in there under the plastic. I might have had a wrinkle in this, but we'll see. Okay, clean up my area here. So we're going to do that all the way around the edges. Circle. Okay. You can use this seam technique, by the way, to do a um, a density filter, ND filters. Um, and I'm just going to show this just for for my for my camera for my DSL camera. I actually use these to um, you know to darken the picture. Um, what that allows me to do is to be able to take long exposures even in bright bright sunlight. Great effects you can get um, with waterfalls. I chase waterfalls. Uh, I mean chase waterfalls. I take a lot of picture of waterfalls and I chase trains over water and that's why I needed this polarized film on here. I'm just making sure I got all the edges by the way. Um, that way when I'm flying over water, I can actually see fish in the water, or you can see into the windows of trains as you, you know, so you can see the driver. Um, all right. So once we're done with that, we need to know which way. Now, on the film, I actually have it marked what's up and what's down. Okay. Um, I did the, did a test earlier, you know, of course, I make these quite a bit, okay. Um, so now what I, the way to find out is when you put the film on here is if it is pitch black, you want it so that you can see through it. If I turn this, it turns black. So if you have the filter in the right direction, which I'm just going to turn this up for me you can see through it. Okay, so now I know that this is up and down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it on the glass because it will be easy to clean up. And I'm being very picky about this. I want to get it right where it's as bright as possible. reason why this works um, stationary on these cameras is the lens doesn't turn to focus. On my DSL camera, the the actual lens spins, so you have to have a non-locking, um, you know, lens where you can actually turn it to get, you know, to be able to use the effect. Okay, so I have this here now. All right, so now we got to put this back in, but there's a, an important little step we have to do. We have to make sure we cut away the filter from the edge of where these clips are. Because if we don't, it, it can cause the plastic to lift up, and then, yeah, it's a pain after that. Because then it's already in your camera, um, and it, it can cause uh, distortion. So now I'm going to go to the side that the filter is on. I'm going to use my um, razor blade to go underneath it and lift it. I hold it with my finger there. I mean, you we could have we could have cut this a little bit narrower to to be able to do this, but this works just as well. Okay, see how I left the edge, but I also added an air bubble, so <laughs> air bubble gone. Don't cut on the glass because um, you don't want to break the glass. And if you put a scratch on it, um, that's just the stress point for vibration and whatnot. Not that these, not that this uh, typhoon vibrates or anything. Okay, and then smooth it out. Get those air bubbles out. Okay, so if you can see now, we've actually cleaned off the edge. So now I'm going to remove the plastic uh, coating because now that I have these notches on them, I can actually wipe off, um, you know, I can clean this 
I use rubbing alcohol um, and a clean rag. I use rubbing alcohol because it it's safer than most of the other type of like Windex has ammonia in it, and it can actually um, you know change the characteristic of plastic. Okay, again, I'm just making sure we're on there. I grab the protective film that's on here, take it off. I want this plastic film outwards. Um, okay, so now I slip this in. I know that's up and down. Okay, just aligning it in here. I'm actually just turning it so that it's as straight as possible. I'm going to test it again by taking my plastic with the arrows on it, making sure. Actually, I feel like I'm off a little bit. So I'm going to put this, I haven't leaned it up there. I found a spot. Now I turn it. Okay, it's still within my, still within the marks. So now I'm pushing the lens back in. Um, please note that this plastic is not that thick, but it's thick enough to cause it to be a tighter fit when you put this back in the camera. Okay, so be aware of that. I'm just going to wipe this off again. Nice and clear. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall this into um, the camera. Okay, putting it at that slight angle there. Oops, pushing on it, get as flush as it can, then we lock this in place. I've included some video on, and actually I don't like how it came out actually, I'm kind of picky about how it comes out, and I have a fingerprint on the inside of the plastic it seems. So it can, it, it can take a couple of tries to get this done. Um, but when you get it done, you'll be happy. You'll be able to fly it over water, like you know, which I showed the bowl, or if I haven't shown it, I'll show it at the end of the video. Um, it's a cheap alternative. I've seen the kits starting at forty dollars. Um, this, these lenses are the same, same idea. It has a plastic film on them. Okay, this is actually window tinting, and in my area, it's called limousine tinting. Uh, you can buy a huge roll for 10 bucks. Um, it's enough to do a window on a car, a, you know, a side window. Um, this, you know, I can do probably a lot. <laughs> I can't even imagine, probably 20 to 40 of them. Um, all right, if you have any questions, feel free to get to message me. I'm, you know, I, I always answer my messages on the forum. Okay, that's unique-forums.com. Thank you very much for watching. It's recording video in uh, 4K mode, 25 frames. Just to show you, it doesn't matter which one you do. See how it disappeared right there? It's slowly going to come back because I'm turning it. There it is.